So to center your bowl, you're going to flip it upside down and put it back on the wheel. And you're going to want to use the concentric rings to help you get it centered. So just eyeball it on center. And then slowly rotate the wheel and hold your index finger steady against the foot. And you'll notice that sometimes it touches and sometimes it doesn't as it rotates. So when it touches your finger, stop the wheel and move the pot opposite your finger just a little bit. And you'll have to repeat that until your finger being held steady makes constant contact with the wheels or with the pot as it spins. And then once it's centered, you're going to make three small coils and get one side of it wet and put the wet edge against the wheel head. Hold on to the pot with one hand and then use your thumb to press the coil down onto the wheel head. And these will hold the bowl in place as you trim. So put them about equal distance apart from each other. And get the wheel spinning about a medium speed. And to hold your tool, place it in your right hand, work at the right side of the wheel, and then rest your left hand on top of the pot. And then use that pointed end of the tool and angle it in to trim what will be the height and the width of the foot ring. And once this area is as wide as you'd like, you can go ahead and use the wide edge of the tool to round out this area just outside the foot. pointed into the tool to just lightly mark how wide you want your foot ring to be right here and then gently work the pointed end of the tool down through the clay and then begin to flatten that wide edge of the tool out to trim away the inside of the foot ring. I just hold the tool over the edges of the foot ring to bevel those corners so they're not sharp. And then the last thing you need to do is use a soft rubber rib to just compress the grog 
that's in the clay back under the surface and smooth it. And I do that all over the areas that I trimmed. 